One of the questions I get asked frequently is, what tools are available in Cubase to help me make a drum beat? One of the great solutions for this is using the MIDI plugin called Beat Designer. So to load up Beat Designer, we can select a MIDI or instrument track, go to the inspector, click on MIDI inserts, and in one of the slots, select Beat Designer. So when we see Beat Designer, we can see eight different lanes and we see a 16 step grid. If you click to the left, you can audition and hear the different sound sources that are being triggered in MIDI. If the labels don't seem to correlate with the sounds, the labels will be based on the drum map. So we can select the top inspector tab, go to the bottom value window here, and then we could load the drum map. But if it's an instrument like Hallion or Groove Agent, you could actually extract and derive the drum map from the instrument automatically like so. So now all the labels will match the instrument. Now the user interface of Beat Designer can be enlarged by dragging the lower right hand corner like that. We see that we have eight different lanes. If we need to add additional lanes, we can click in the plus sign of the very bottom right hand corner lane. It's very subtle, but you see a little plus sign. And then as you do that, you can add more lanes like that. We see that there's a 16 step grid where the downbeats are differentiated by a slightly lighter shade of black. If you need additional steps of grid, you can adjust the amount of steps in a grid with this value. If you wanted to put in different rhythmic values, you can say I want to put in eighth notes. So you can actually have your step resolution determined like so. There are a number of great presets that come with Beat Designer. So if we wanted to load up a preset, we can do so. And we see that there are four banks of presets. And each bank can have an octave's worth of patterns. So now when I hit play, this pattern is being sent directly to our sound source, which is the Groove Agent SE. And if I wanted to take a different pattern, There are different jump modes. So if you wanted to immediately switch, you could have it jump. If you wanted to jump at the end of the pattern or jump now would allow you to immediately jump on playback to the newly selected pattern. If you wanted to create your own beat, I'm gonna to go to an empty preset here in bank two. And let's go ahead and turn on my click track by hitting the letter C and let's program our beat. If I wanted to adjust the velocity, I could hold down the left mouse button on each of the events. And let's say if I wanted that to play back, you know, hand clap instead, or a different kick, you could change the sound from the list. So let's say I want to put in hand claps on two and four, and let's adjust that velocity. If I click at the bottom, we could actually have up to three flams. So if I wanted to adjust the position of flams, I could also adjust the volume level of my flam. So if I wanted to spread the flams out. So let's go ahead and I'll just throw in a couple of shakers. In my lower right hand corner, we have two different swing presets. So if I wanted my shakers to have a different swing than my hand claps, we could do that. If I wanted to just kind of switch this to, let's say, a tom, and 
and we could be a little more creative with our velocities here. Now there's some really good handy uh, editing tips that a lot of people aren't aware of. If I wanted to shift an entire lane over by a step, I could hold down a shift key and just move and just try out different feels like that. To get rid of a value, just click on it again. Now, if I wanted to do an alternate or an inverted selection, if I hold down the Alt key and drag across, it'll just place values where there were no values and erase values where there were. So this way I could just hold down the Alt key and invert the values that easily. If I wanted to make a copy of a lane to another lane, if I hold down the Alt key and just go to the left of the event, at that point I could just drag it up and make a copy. Each lane could also be solo or muted very easily. Now in the upper left hand corner, there's a little drop down menu and there's some handy tools in here for your pattern. So if you wanted to shift everything to the left, shift it to the left again, or shift it to the right just to get a different feel or even reverse the pattern, we can just place those different elements right there to kind of get variations of our pattern as well. So if I wanted to take that pattern, copy it, go to a different one, to a different preset, I can now paste that pattern and then just do variations on that one and still have both patterns available quite easily. Now in the drop-down menu, there's some other choices as well. So let's say uh, I have my left and right locators set uh, between measures one through 16 here. So if I wanted to take this pattern, I could just say, let's fill the loop with pattern. And this will automatically take that pattern and place it directly into my project timeline. So if I didn't like that, I could also, if I have a number of uh, presets within this bank, I could choose to insert the sub bank at the cursor and then all the different presets will automatically be placed directly into my timeline as well. So you can see how easy it is with the flexibility to program drum beats quite effectively using the Beat Designer plugin to really enhance your creativity with Cubase. If you found this video helpful, please feel free to like the video and to subscribe to the channel.